people welcome back to my channel it is angelica aka angie b and in this video i'm going to be showing you exactly how i'm going to be doing the 10 day rice water challenge okay so straight into the video if you are wondering why i'm wearing a wig i'm about to tell you but before we do that if you're not subscribed to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button it's going to be linked right down there as well as the bell icon that just makes sure that you guys get notifications every single time i post also if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button it just really helps me a lot and also comment whatever you want in the comment section below i literally respond to all my comments all the time so in this video i'm going to be showing you how i'm doing the 10 day rice water challenge this is the rice water i am using if you came from my how to make rice water video then welcome this is the same rice water we're going to be using it's actually the same day if not and you're not sure how to make rice water or you want to see exactly how i made this one make sure to watch that video first i'm going to link it in the eye up here so you guys can see how i made the rice water but if you already know how to make it and you don't care about how i made mine or whatever you just want to do the challenge then welcome let's get straight into the video so i'm going to be using this rice water i'm going to strain it into a spray bottle i believe someone named christine something i'm going to link her inst i'm going to link her youtube channel name up somewhere here so you guys can see what her name is i believe it's Kristen alexa something like that she's the one who well from what i know she's the first person who did the 10 day rice water challenge so i was inspired by her to do this video if someone else did it you can please comment in the section below and let me know who else did it so i've seen uh quite a few different types of rice water challenges and i wanted to make this one my own if someone else has done it like this then you know i haven't seen it i don't know but the way i'm going to do it is i'm going to take this rice water i'm going to put it in a spray bottle and i'm going to add tea tree oil and peppermint oil the reason why i'm adding these two oils is because i know they stimulate hair growth and they'll just be like an extra boost to the oil now time for the dramatic reveal i'm about to take my wig off <laughs> okay so now i've taken the wig off and this is what my hair looks like it is in braids and if you're wondering about how I'm going to do the length check before. I already filmed that before I braided this hair. So um, let's just go straight into the length check right now so you guys can see how long my hair is. And then after the 10 days, I'm going to come back and, well, after the 10 days, we'll be at the end of this video. I'm going to unbraid this hair and then we're going to measure it again. So let's just see how my hair looks now. Okay, so now we are going to measure where my hair is at right now so that we can see, this is my starting point. We'll see the length and the difference in the hair when I'm done with the 10 day challenge and see whether my hair grew or not. So we'll measure hair from both sides and then the front. And I'm not using a measuring tape or anything. I'm just going to measure by, you know, I'll try and sit in the exact same place and wear the same shirt so that we can see if there's an actual difference. So, taking a piece from the back and stretching it. I'm trying to keep my head forward, but either way, it's kind of the same distance. Here, when I stretch it, basically quite a distance between my collarbone. So here is where the hair is. And let's measure this side from the same area. It's basically the same as well. When I stretch it, it's about here. And we'll stretch this down. And this is basically right on the tip of my nose. So you guys can see the length of my hair. Now, the reason why my hair is in braids is because rice water contains quite a high content of protein and my hair is quite sensitive to protein and it's very low porosity. So if I sprayed rice water in my hair every day, I think it might cause breakage just because my hair might get a little bit too, I don't know if I should say strong or hard, like brittle because it has so much protein in it. But I think 
I can manage to do this rice water challenge properly if I spray the rice water in my hair while it is in braids so I don't have to unbraid it I don't have to manipulate it or do anything the next time I'm going to touch my hair and try to detangle it or anything is when I unbraid it wash everything out and yeah so if you have low porosity hair and or rice water makes your hair hard when you leave it in your hair i suggest you do the 10 day rice water challenge in braids just like how i'm doing it okay so it is now day 10 it's actually day 13 because like i said i have work and i just honestly didn't have enough time to take my hair out and actually do it afterwards so this is the hair out of the braids now day 13 but we're calling it day 10 but i did stop on day 10 you know so it's still a 10 day rice water challenge i just wanted to say sorry in advance because i lost the footage where i was spraying my hair with the rice water but like it is pretty easy it's literally like spraying on anything i just sprayed it on the top of my hair and then got my little oil mix and then mixed it rubbed it between my hands and then just put that over because like i said my hair is quite protein sensitive and i didn't want my hair to get like really hard and after i washed it guys i was shook because i expected my hair to be super dry after spraying rice water in it for 10 days straight with no breaks but actually it felt pretty soft i was really shocked and my shedding was cut down by like half let me not waste your time and let's get into why you guys want to see what happened after 10 days so this is after 10 days i'm going to measure the hair in the same places where we measured it i'm going to measure the hair in the same places where we measured it before um which is the sides and then the front i don't think i measured from this side so i won't bother to do that and i'm not wearing the same shirt i wore in the video because i realized i had like no markers in it or anything that would help us see whether the hair has grown or not i just kind of used my collarbones to measure so yes i'll just be wearing this let's get straight into the measuring Let's see if there is a difference. Is it longer? I don't think I had to get up last time, so. It legit grew. Like, what? This is ridiculous. Let's see the side. Let's see the side. It grew, guys. This. Like, it's, it's here. That is ridiculous. Yeah, I think it was like here before. So it should have grown like a full inch. So like the longest piece, yeah, is here. Let's measure this hair. This does just touching my nose. I feel like this hair is kind of the same. So yeah, this is the end of the video. I'm super happy with my growth. I can actually tell even when I was washing my hair that it felt much longer in the back. I think I've got a full inch um, or maybe more because, you know, I didn't use a measuring tape. I don't really like to use measuring tapes because it just makes you so like... So you can use a measuring tape if you want to. I just choose not to because I just really don't like that kind of stuff. But I did see a huge difference, not only in the length, in the 10 days but my hair is it feels so strong but it doesn't feel hard and it's very smooth and very shiny and my hair has never been like this before um, so yeah let me know what you guys thought of the 10 day challenge if you guys would like to do it if you do please tag me in your pictures on Instagram and Twitter because I will be so excited to see them lots of people have had amazing growth results with rice water and i'm super happy with it i'm going to continue using it please let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing the 30 day rice water challenge um i'm very interested in doing it so let me know if you'd like to do it and then we could maybe do it together we could set a date and then i would do a video posted on that date and then we could all start from that date let me know because i mean we've done the 10 day might as well might as well go to the next step and do the 30 day rice water challenge so if you like this video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up also 
subscribe if you haven't subscribed in the beginning the subscription box will be lifted <laughs> it'll be listed right down there all you have to do is click the big red button it's written subscribe and also hit the bell icon which is right next to it and that ensures that you guys get notifications as soon as I post a video also comment whatever you'd like to comment if you enjoyed the video if you want to see more of these kinds of videos what you expect to see next and I respond to all my comments and also after this I'm going to be filming my first ever wash and go I'm gonna be trying it so stay tuned for that video if you want to see it and also you can comment if you're interested in seeing it thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next